When I first started working in these woods, they were completely different from what they are now. Um, you know, there's a lot more hardwoods in them. There's a lot of the kind of regeneration that you would expect to see. The salt marsh down here, it used to be a lot more trees, you know, a lot more pine trees. But, but it's, they're there, but they're dead. They're completely dead. And we can ride from here to Hopper's Island and places that was so thick that the sun never come through. It, it feels empty. When you're, when you can, you just don't see anything, you know, it was just shade. And now then the sun just comes right down on you. It's sad because it, it wasn't like that when I was smaller, when I was younger. Everything was green and, and, and just so beautiful. And the woods were just so full, you know. It was a lot of oak. It has to be a hardwood in order to put it down in the salt water. But it's, it's hardly any boats. I don't know of anybody that even makes boats out of wood anymore. Everything, the boat yard where my brother works over Hopper's Island, P.L. Jones, they do fiberglass boats. Nobody wants any wooden boats anymore. Well, we still have our family around here, so we're gonna stay here. But a lot of people sell and just move away. And you don't have people that are permanent. No, no permanent people anymore. It's very few. You know, you really gotta, <clears throat> you really gotta wonder what's this place gonna look like. Nothing is constant and it's, it's going to change and you know depending on your perspective it's either going to be bad or good i guess if you're a blue crab it's going to be great you know if you're a forester it's not going to be so good <laughs> <laughs>